Can you hear it? it sounds like we're dying. I want this day. Hello. Every, every, every Monday. Every Monday that goes off. I thought I could have waited until it ended, but I thought, why not? show you that yeah right, that was there <clears throat> oh <sighs> never gets any easier does it like Casey left yesterday again you know we've seen each other a lot more than I thought we would which is good but the uh, saying goodbye is always really hard. It's never gotten any easier. I think especially as well because this time we've had like no money and no power and no anything, you know. So it's like, like I said, you know, it's harder to deal with things when you're just trying to survive, you know. So it's like, feels like everyone's just falling apart, like. This fucking sanction from like a month ago has really fucked me. Like, I, because of having to constantly put more money into the rent because we owe it, we, I just have nothing. Like, I've, I haven't had a decent meal in days, and we haven't had power in days, and we haven't had toilet roll in days. <laughs> like, I don't know, it just, it gets really hard, you know. Getting a lot of, like, FOMO with them being away and... But also, like, loads of, like, confusion. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't know what I'm doing in terms of fucking... Where I want to be, what I want to do, where I want to go. Do I want to go to uni? Do I want to move? Do I want anything? I just don't know. Everything's gone, like, topsy-turvy. Like, I still believe in the, like, what's keeping me here. But it's all just really difficult. You know, there's a housing crisis at the moment. There's an energy crisis at the moment. We put 20 quid on the other day on the electric, which usually would last us a week. Gone. In seconds. Like, in a day or two, it's just gone. So now we haven't had any power. It's like... The government's just fucked us over here, haven't they? You know, and there was supposed to be another cost to live payment, you know, from the government to come, like, help you survive. And they've just decided, no, we're not going to send that. We're going to send that when we want to, if we're going to send it. You know, and it's not, like, compulsory, but they were like, yeah, we're going to send it on the 1st of October. 1st of October rolls around and they're like, yeah, we don't know when we're going to send it or if we're going to send it. So, good luck. And it's like, yeah. Everybody's just having to try and fucking cope with the fact that they've got nothing, you know? Like, it's just, like, we haven't been able to get them decent cat food. Oh, God. Like, we, we've gotten them, obviously, biscuits, but we just haven't been able to get them wet cat food. Like, I just... And even on, like, a more selfish reason, I just want to be able to decorate for Halloween. <laughs> Like, obviously we've got some of these, this stuff up, but that stuff's been there for like two years now. Um, so I've just been really wanting to go into Poundland or something and get some Halloween decorations and start decorating for Halloween, make it feel a bit more cosy and homey in here. Try and, I don't know, cope a bit easier with all of this shit, all of this change, like... 
have something to distract yourself, you know, but like, I can't even make food. <laughs> I can't even make a cup of tea because there's no power to turn the kettle on, let alone any milk. Like, and it's so annoying because like, I get paid on the 11th, which is... nine days away something like that so it's like i've got to try and figure out how to survive the next nine days Ugh. but anyway anyway i just i had a complete different story i went on my instagram today and for some reason like i just scrolled through my profile i was just sat there like just looking at all my old shit, looking at all of my old posts from like two years ago, you know. Because like I don't post very often so it doesn't take very long on my Instagram to go back to like two years ago. Um, and... <laughs> look how much better we look. If you remember, I like... A few months ago, he was all like naked. He was pulling all of his fur out. Look, look at that bum. He's all fluffy. And look at his tail. His tail was all naked. Now it's all fluffy. He's all fluffy boy. He's a fluffy boy. He's a fluffy boy. Oh, I'm so happy. Like his tail was all bold and where he pulled all his fur out, and now. Now look how fluffy! I'm so happy. But yeah. Um. Yeah, I was just looking through all my old photos and stuff, and it's like. Pictures of Chloe! Pictures of Pinata! Um. All of my old Inktober stuff from like two, three years ago, you know? Oh, really? Hello? Yeah. Um. I was just looking through all my Inktober ones and like. It might be good to do Inktober again, it is only the third, so I could like catch up really quickly if I wanted to, if there is an Inktober going around. Um, and, but yeah, I was just looking through it, like, how things have changed, you know? From living, <laughs> from living here to like living to the flat, you know? Like, in, when I was living in the flat, I was switching so much more than here. I barely switch here, you know? And, yeah, like, I had so much more information about my system. I had system maps. I had all these drawings of different altars that have come out, you know? Like, whereas, like, I don't know, now I've just, I'm just so barely in touch with it, you know? I only, I, it's like I've kind of gone backwards in healing. It's like I've gone back to the stage where I just don't know when I'm switching anymore and I don't have any communication I don't have anything I'm just it just happens you know like back when I was a teenager it just happened like I would have no idea who was out or have anything you know whereas like there was a brief phase where I had way more inner communication and I had way more just just all of it do you know what I mean like yeah, back then I was having so many more breakthroughs with things and system finding out stuff. Um, altars opening up, I had my way more fusions and stuff, you know? It's like, it's just really interesting to me how in the last, like, few years it's changed so much, you know? Like, I'd still have it, I still have the disorder, but it's not the same, you know? It's gone kind of backwards to the, um... To, to the not knowing stage, to the to the it just works stage without you having any idea, you know? Um, and yeah, I just think it's really interesting, like how, how they, I don't know, just how I used to have so much better communication, you know? Like me and Tracy used to be really close and like best friends. You know, I saw the drawing that Pinata did of me and Tracy. And um, yeah, we were like best friends and now I barely speak to her because I have no communication inside. And 
yeah, like I just I wonder if it's the environment or if it's I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Could for, could be fucking anything. Could be fucking anything for all I know. Lay down, you, you weirdo. Lay down. I, no, I'm not going to talk about that, that's fine. <laughs> you weirdo. Um, but yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, I think that's probably why I'm quite distressed all the time lately, you know? It's because I kind of reverted back to, to the kind of survival mode of the DID, you know? I'm not in functioning mode. I'm not in the phase where we can communicate and we think we can go coke on and control like I like I've noticed lately a lot of the times when I have been coke on but it's so hard to place it's so hard to figure out like who or or what's going on you know like the other day I was sat there with Casey and part of me was sat there and I was like staring at them and I was like I'm really upset that they're leaving I'm gonna miss them I really love them, it's going to hurt, blah blah blah, but then part of me was sat there like, I really don't like them, why have they done this, I really dislike them, they really upset me, blah 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 blah, you know, like part of me was so, and it was so separated, I could I could feel it, so it was like someone was clearly coke on with me, who didn't like Casey, and was quite upset at what was going on, you know, and I could place it, I could feel it, but I couldn't place who, or why, or what was going on. I think I get that a lot, you know, where I have these clashing feelings and somebody's clearly coke on and having strong feelings, but I just can't place who or why or what's going on, you know. And it's like frustrating. Like, I have, I'm not paying for my therapy anymore. Like, as much as I really did, like, Carla, my therapist, as a therapist, um, I, well, I liked her as a person, I guess, I wasn't getting anything, you know, I wasn't getting any support, any change, any kind of, it was just a, a place to vent for half an hour or an hour, do you know what I mean? And she would just be like, hmm, that must be really sad. And I'm like, yeah, now give me a coping mechanism, please help me do something. And she would just be like, hmm. Mm, that must be really difficult. Great, thank you. And it's like I'm a bit of an idiot for thinking that a normal fucking counsellor who's been trained and doesn't have a doctor's license or anything, like isn't a psychiatrist, how I'm an idiot for thinking that they would be able to help me with such a serious disorder. Like I need to go to somebody who is a specialist or something, you know. I need to go to a psychiatrist or I need to go to somebody who actually knows what they're fucking talking about, you know, and could actually help me with all this shit. Because, yeah. And it's like, if I'm paying for it anyway, if I was paying all this money for it anyway, so I'm willing to pay, you know, then, you know, why not pay for actually something decent, you know, like, I put so much money into this fucking therapist and gotten fuck all out of it, you know? And obviously I can't be affording loads and loads and loads, but if I could find something at the same price as I was paying before, then surely that makes more sense? Oi, stop it. Why are you being a pain here? Stop. Oi. Stop. 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 But yeah, like I um I would like to get a proper th therapist or a proper psychiatrist who actually knows how to handle DID and how to help me as a person with DID, you know? Um help with the communication and the system stuff. 
he always does this. If you pick him up and like hold him, he lays there staring into space like he's seen absolute horrors. He's seen his whole family be murdered. He's seen the world burn at the stake. But he stays. He doesn't, like, I'm not holding him in, in particularly tightly. Like, he could move if he wanted to. But he stays there, shook, and freaked out. And then just, and just stays. He stays. Like, I'm barely holding him right now. Like, my hand is free. Like, like yesterday I was holding him. And I just had my elbow out. And he was pushing against my chest. He was, like, pushing himself back into my elbow. And... The only reason he was staying is because he was pushing himself back into my elbow. It's like, if you just let go, you just stop pushing, you would have been completely free. I was not holding you. He was in the crook of my elbow, like, just kind of like this, you know. It's like, if he just moved forward away from my elbow, he wouldn't be trapped. But he thinks he's trapped because he's pushing himself into my elbow. It's like, no, he thinks he's trapped, even though, even though I've barely got him. And then he's seen the horrors. He's seen the horrors of the world. <laughs> Have you seen the horrors of the world, boy? Tell us your secrets. Tell us what you've seen. Tell us what you've seen. Have you seen the future? Does the world burn? Okay. We'll never know. But, yeah, like, yeah, might try and, like, approach some specialists or something and see, like, how much sessions are, you know, and see if it's a possibility now or if it's a possibility, like, when I'm not broke <laughs> and starving, you know, like, obviously... I can't afford any therapy right now. I've got no fucking money. We're in a housing crisis, a cost to live crisis, an everything crisis, a fucking almost recession. So it's not going to happen anytime soon. But, you know, it's good to get like an idea of how much it's going to be, you know, so that when things have settled down a bit, we can potentially think about it. You know, it'd be good to go to an actual professional specialist. You know, I think I'd quite like to go to, like, uh, Dr. Mike Lloyd. I, because, only because he knows of my existence. He knows who I am, you know. He knows somewhat about my alters and stuff, you know. Because he was the doctor that was on Steph's pack lunch with me. Well, I, basically, when I got in, when they got in contact with me for Steph pack, Steph's pack lunch, they also got asked me if there was any doctors that I knew of that would be willing to speak. And I knew of Dr. Mike Lloyd and liked the things he said, you know, um, and said to them, yeah, there's this doctor. Uh, I would love it if you got in contact with him. He's incredible, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, I, yeah, I've got a lot of respect for this guy. And uh, he's probably... Uh, my top suggestion and then they got back contact with me saying yeah we've managed to get in contact with dr mike lloyd he's gonna come on and speak thank you for the suggestion you know so it's like i kind of requested in a way that he come on and speak and he obviously accepted came on and spoke and spoke about me you know it wasn't just like oh yes the idea is like this he was sat there like yes yeah, so in Bo's case blah 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 which you know, kind of makes me feel like he knows who I am. If I approach him and go, hi, it's Bo, you know, from the thing, he's going to go, ah, oh, yes, Bo, I know who you are. Instead of being like, hi, I'm a, I'm a system, can you help me? <coughs> um, but yeah, like, I don't know, he's like a big proper doctor, so like, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. But yeah, I think working with somebody like that who actually knows and is kind of a specialist is probably the best option, you know? And if I already was paying for therapy kind of like this, you know, I'd be in my bedroom on my phone just talking to them, you know? it. 
and I was never going in. I was never going into a, a building. So it's like I could have a doctor from anywhere in the country if I was already having Skype sessions, you know, or Zoom sessions, then I could just continue Zoom sessions with anybody in the country. Or in the world, technically. But that's for another day when I'm not freezing and starving, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm going to go. I've been chatting for a little bit, but let me know, let me know what you think about this, you know, any suggestions and stuff, you know, like, do you guys remember back when I was having a lot more communication things, like, because that flat was a pile of shit, it was an absolutely awful place to live, it was not safe, with all the noise upstairs, with, the, like, the abuse happening, we didn't have a door lock, you know, the front door didn't lock, our personal flat's front door didn't lock, at all, we would just leave it open all day. Um, like there was mushrooms growing on the wall, it was so mouldy, ceiling used to leak, the floor used to leak in the shower, like, it was, it was a pile of shit, you know, the window blew out during a storm, so that meant that the window was never safe again, you could just pull it and it opened, like, it was not a safe place to live, but yet somehow I was switching more than here, even though this is a safe place, you know, we've got thick walls, we where we've got shelter, there's no mushrooms growing on the walls, ceiling doesn't leak, we haven't got anybody above us, you know, we haven't got any abusive people above us. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I'm in a safer place, but my brain isn't acting like it. You know, you know what I mean? You know, you know? Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna go try to distract myself before I go insane. Um, let me know if there's any kind of videos you want me to do, you know, let, give me some video suggestions because I've got plenty of time now, so I can sit and film some stuff for you guys. Um, obviously, Moonlight video is coming, I am sorry, life got in the way, but it is still coming, I promise. But yeah, I'm gonna go, let me know, let me know if you, about the things, let me know how you you found this video let me know about the stuff uh i'm gonna go insane um try and find something to eat might end up being like dry pasta or fucking something because i can't even boil it to eat <laughs> you can eat dry pasta that's fine all right i'm gonna go see you later peace